for 15 years. What on earth are you doing, making, doing business here? We know that we must be in the UK to be a successful global company. It's but a, you're losing money here. It's a critical I mean, why, market. Why do you go to, over to the US, focus on the US, where you say you're making money, because if it's true? We've had tremendous optimism and encouragement over time about our ability. 15 years, Mr. Alsted. You've given the UK business 15 years. You're still making, uh, you're still making uh, losses, and yet you're, you're, uh, you're carrying on, if it's true. Yes, I assure you it is true. It's very unfortunate. We're not at all pleased about our financial performance here. It is fundamentally true, everything we're saying and everything we've said historically. It just doesn't, sound, just, just doesn't ring true. Either you're, you know, the, the two are inconsistent, you've run the business for 15 years and you're losing, and you're carrying on investing yet. It just doesn't ring true. We are committed to this marketplace, to our customers we know to be yeah, a but successful... you're losing money. To be a successful global company, we have every intention to make this market successful and profitable. And you've tried for 15 years and failed. And yes, you've promoted we have. the guy who failed over 15 years, succeeded in one year only. It just doesn't ring true, Mr. Alsted. No. That's what frustrates taxpayers in, in the UK. It doesn't no. ring true. You've got to give us a better explanation. Uh, you know, there's some very positive uh, statements with regards to the ethics of your company. Um, you know, would you consider making a, a commitment to the British marketplace about the degree to which you will? have a fair approach to taxation here? Very much so. I assure you we have every intention to be a fair taxpayer everywhere we are. We are never aggressive in avoiding taxes by any means. As I said earlier, we do not have tax havens in place. That's just not how we do business. Uh, we look forward to deepening our investment in this marketplace. We have every intention to do that. We look forward to, to Mr. Alsted, 15 years when you haven't. And I think what we've got out of this, and then we'll move on to Amazon, is that uh, in Switzerland, you charge 20% profits on every coffee being bought in the UK, where you only pay 12% tax. You haven't been able to explain to us the 6% royalty in any meaningful way. You charge for loans 2% above what, uh, to your own wholly owned subsidiaries, 2% above the sort of at least 2% above the going rate. And it seems to us that you're exporting your profits to minimize your tax. And it doesn't surprise me that the YouGov brand index, which used to have a three points positive, now has a 26 point negative. Are you happy with that? No, we're not happy with it at all. Let's move on to Amazon, then we'll come back to some general questions in the end. Good question. So, the quite low turnover in the UK is because the UK company, they, we have it set up as a UK company, provides services, and its customer is the European company for their services. Is that right? Okay, so one they, of, of right. Group okay, but they get an invoice. They send their invoice to to uh, to um, Luxembourg and get paid, and that's where the money that goes into the bank account more or less comes from. They're not they're not handling the books. They're not they don't have ownership in the books. I pay a tax actually. I know, but I'm not, I know, I know, but I'm just trying to. That's Sorry. just bank yeah, cool. bank details. And so when the services that this UK company are doing are essentially handling services. They don't actually own the book at any point. The, the, the UK company does not own the inventory. Right, I'm only just saying that for clarity. Now, my second point, if I may bring you back, I'm sorry, because I heard the discussion, you know perfectly well what sales are happening everywhere in Europe. Otherwise, you couldn't possibly run this company, the advertising or anything else. So if you're not giving that information, it's because you choose not to. That's right, isn't it? Let, let, let me stress, we're, we're operating on a pan-European basis. Know, but you know the information. You can't mm. possibly pretend, and it's really quite annoying to listen to, that you can possibly be running a strategy in Europe and not know your territorial profitability. You're, you're doing advertising, you're, you're putting in warehouses, on the assumption of sales volume, don't come on. It's actually quite insulting to everybody's intelligence to say that you don't know what sales volumes are going to be in the territory. That's just not feasible as an argument. So you can't possibly as, as advance I, that. As, as I don't I think anyone who knows anything about business would accept that line. As I said previously, Sorry. It, it's not numbers that we, we, we do dispose, but I'm very happy to go back to the company uh, and see whether we're, we're willing to... Just I just check on the CNIG that you don't disclose to the SEC country-specific data. You don't file in your filings to the SEC. You don't, but for example, what UK earnings would be? I, I'm not aware that we have uh, that in our uh, UK ICC filings. You see, what we're getting at, and you can see that the, the, these conversations is your entire economic activity is here in the UK. I even pay in pounds. I do pay in pounds. It never comes off my bank account in euros. Uh, your entire activity is here. 
yet you pay no tax here. And that really riles us. It riles us. So, so can I clarify? We, we do pay uh, corporation tax. Uh, our accounts are for Amazon. Tiny bit in uh, relation uh, uh, to your... I, I, I mean, you won't tell I, us I, your I, rec sales. I recognize Tiny that, bit. Uh, uh, the other thing I would also highlight, uh, we, we have paid uh, in excess of 100 million uh, in payroll taxes uh, in the fast, last five years. We've paid uh, tens of millions in business rates uh, in the past five years. And I've heard this may, argument may, before. Let me just kill yeah. this argument because it really makes me cross. On the one hand, so does every other business. So the community-based uh, bookshop that you're putting out of business also pays business rates, also pays its PAYE, also pays V. Actually, probably pays VAT in a way that you don't. And, and uh, you, uh, in the same way, and you're making it uncompetitive. And the other thing is, you depend on the services that come out of the tax you pay. So, you know, you depend on the ability of your uh, of, of, of getting your goods around, so you've got to get the, truck, the roads in place, you depend on all those things. And probably worst of all, both you and Mr. Alsted employ people on probably minimum wage, if we're lucky, and then we, the taxpayer, pick up the tax credit bill for that too. So we're putting a lot of money back into the people you, you, you put, and you're not putting enough tax into our economy. That's what's riding us all. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that, but Austin. No, I thought I was very good. <laughs> well, I'll have to say. On revenue of nine billion. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, we, we, we made, what I'm saying is we made an after-tax profit of 20 million on that specific... So what, what was your profit before tax? Before tax. I don't have that specific number there, but I'm happy to provide it. Exactly. You don't have anything. I mean, honestly, you come to us with absolutely no information. What's your job? So I'm director of public policy for Amazon across Europe. Well, I mean, I think what we... We'll continue this afternoon, but I think what we're going to have to do is order somebody to come who can give us answers to the questions well, we I'm ask. Very, I, I'm and we will order somebody to appear before us who does that, because it's just not acceptable. I don't think, I don't know what you take us for, but we're not, you know, we need proper answers to perfectly proper questions which are trying to establish the economic activity in this country and therefore what would be a reasonable corporation tax due. That's our job. We, you know, the idea that you come here simply don't answer the questions, pretend ignorance, is just not on. It's awful. I'm very happy to provide uh, the committee with any responses to these questions. No, we, you should have come. I can't believe you've come without the information. Or they deliberately send you, uh, and we will order somebody who can answer them in public. Would you publish regarding the whole... ...that you've chosen both Ireland and then Bermuda, because they are both... Uh, yeah, and I no think that's tax, right. As a multinational... No tax, uh, exactly. If, no, if not, no tax. But As a multinational then, company, I've got to come back to what really gets the UK ordinary punter out there who uses Google day in, day out, is that uh, they contribute towards your business as economic activity, because I use Google, all of us around the table use Google, um, uh, they contribute to your profits and they see no proper fair contribution from you to corporation tax and that's, no. the, buggy, so, that's the thing that bugs us all. I, I understand but I think it's a misunderstanding uh, of the concern in that we pay corporation tax here well, on, the, on the activity, tiny, tiny but if, may I try to uh, sort of answer, uh, we pay corporation tax here on the activity our people here do. But if you think about Google, it is technology. 17,000 engineers in California build and continue to invest in developing the technology. That is what creates the economic uh, value uh, for what Google. What does Bermuda create? Let me explain. So what, what creates economic value for Google is the technology and the computer science. Hopefully people understand that because you know it's pretty magical to be able to search the entire web in seconds and get answers fast. And that's what we continue to invest in. So what does Bermuda create? So let me just explain. So that's how we create the economic value. And tax law suggests that the uh, you know that uh, you need to um, pay tax where the economic value is created. We believe that's there. Um, in the case of the UK, the economic activity that happens in the UK, which is about helping people to understand how to use the internet and products and services, we've um, looked at how best to uh, you know, establish what we should pay for the services that are provided by people in the UK. The way we come to a conclusion on that is we look at if we went outside and hired other firms to do those kind of things, what would we pay there? And that's how we've set up what the cost structure. What is Bermuda create? In Bermuda, we have a, a, an entity that holds the rights to our intellectual property, and you can tell it's a very I, intellectual property. But I thought you just told us the intellectual business. property is all in California. 
uh, I was trying to finish the sentence, which is the intellectual property rights for outside uh, of the U.S. for the license. But they're not doing the R&D. It's all in California. But that's right, but we, um, like any company, we're required to do two things. Uh, one, to play by the rules, and when you set up internationally, you need to make decisions about how to protect your intellectual property and how to organise. And secondly, to manage our costs efficiently in order to satisfy our shareholders. And our goal as so a company you're is you're minimising to... your tax, even though it's unfair to British taxpayers? Um, it's not unfair to British taxpayers. We pay all the tax you require us to pay in the UK. We paid £6 million yeah, maybe of tax last year. We're not year. accusing you of being illegal. We're accusing you of being immoral. So I think it's, a matter, it's not a matter of personal choice. Your US filings, do you check your...